of today. Unfortunately, this means today is our last day at Jane. The paycheck you received this morning includes all of your accrued wages through the end of the day today. This applies to every Jane team member, including me. It devastates me to share that the company is also not in a financial position to offer severance, and that for those of us in the U.S., our health coverage will end at the end of the month. Following this meeting, People Ops will be sending a letter to your personal email address with information about filing for unemployment benefits, the public health care marketplace, and other information you need to know. I want you to also please remember that the EAP, our Employee Assistance Program, will run through the end of the month for anybody who needs to reach out for resources. As of today, Jane will be proceeding with liquidating the assets of the company through a court-supervised proceeding called an assignment for the benefit of creditors. In the next couple of months, the assignee will be working to sell Jane's assets in order to secure the highest possible value to be distributed to Jane's creditors. Wow, how did we get here? After valiantly fighting a very uphill battle for the last couple of years, the significant decreases in Jane's GMV accelerated faster than we were able to sustainably cut costs. The final blow was the complete lack of holiday pickup and sales that we have always seen. The e-commerce space has definitely changed a lot in a short time. It's like Shein and Timu continue to take more market share every day. Eventually, there becomes a point when it's impossible to compete on price. We believe that themes market dynamics were a part of the recent decreases, especially in graphics and women's apparel, as well as in the products where Timu had some really cheap dupes. I do want you to know though, for the last few months, I've been working with the board and Tritium behind the scenes to try to find a buyer for Jane, with the goal of satisfying all of Jane's financial obligations to grow the business and to further invest in the platform and Jane's future. Up until late last week, we were still in discussions with a handful of well-qualified buyers who were interested in purchasing Jane. When it became clear that that was no longer an option, we immediately changed course to effectuate the assignment for the benefit of creditors as soon as possible. I want to thank each and every one of you for fighting until the very end. I know and recognize how hard the past few months have been for everyone. What this team achieved, despite a truly impossible situation, was nothing short of incredible. On behalf of the Jane leadership team and the board of directors, thank you for your hard work, your dedication, and your heart. While our Jane journey ends here, our connection does not. And we want you to know that we are putting together a Jane alumni group on LinkedIn, where we can share opportunities and help one another find our next challenge. Please know that I will gladly provide a reference for any one of you. There is a next chapter waiting for all of us where your talents will continue to shine. And this Jane team is incredibly talented and full of art. I wish you all the best. Thank you. If you, anyone has questions, I will do my best to answer them now. I don't have a lot of answers in many areas, but anything I can share or anything I know, I will be happy to share. What's the status on equipment and things like that? How you said liquidating, do we need to bring the equipment back to the office? So in the letter you receive um, from our operation or our people support team, there will be directions on how to ship the laptops back. Um, for the U.S. employees, we've included a $90 non-taxable reimbursement in your paycheck today that will cover the cost of buying a FedEx box. And there's an address on there that you can ship it to. So that's, hopefully that answers your question. Um, you can keep the monitors and everything else. It's just the laptops that we have to return. So really 
healthcare coverage ends in two weeks. Yes, it ends at the end of November. Um, because Jane, as a company, is going to be assigned as part of this court action, um, there will be no plan to carry forward and unfortunately no COBRA benefits. We tried to do what we could to figure out a way to do that. And unfortunately, there was no way to attach. Um, in the resources, there will be information on how to go to um, your state's marketplace for health insurance. Um, and hopefully there will be some options there as well as the possibility in some cases for subsidies um, that will help you bridge this time. And, and this event definitely qualifies um, as a transition event for anybody who has a spouse that may have coverage or for the marketplace itself. How long will we have access to bamboo? Um, I believe that bamboo access will probably be turned off very quickly, but if there's anything that you need from a pay stub perspective or a W-2 perspective, um, W-2s will be sent out in normal course of business um, within early January or late January, like they usually are. And Ursula, please correct me if I, I'm wrong, but I think we're trying to attach final pay stubs to each to each person's um, email they're going to get from from HR, so that should have your year to date pay information and other details you'll need to help apply for unemployment benefits. If there's how anything else, have, oh, go ahead. How long how, how long will we have access to the email and Teams? I know um, a lot of people that are going to want to trip contact information. Yeah, um, I don't know exactly how the timing of that is going to happen, but pretty short order after this meeting, I'm expecting. And I think for contact information too, please, please use LinkedIn. Um, if, if for some reason you can't get to each other, please, please use LinkedIn. Um, and then we can get that group going and, and make sure everybody has contact to everyone else. I'll just say we're emailing uh, all of the information to your personal email. So if you can check Bamboo right now, um, and if there's any change needed, let me know. Um, you can also change it yourself, but just let me know because I've already run a report and I already have the email addresses in a report. So if there's any changes, I'll need to know that to make sure you get your information. Uh, I got a question. I got a question about the payroll. I see uh, I got an email from WagePoint. I see that there is a payroll happening. Uh, I don't see it in the account. Do we know when these things are going to be processed, or is there a flow to this, or do we need to follow up? Um, in Canada, they should be deposited in your account today. Um, the Canadian payments were made via. Um, wire international wire transfers out of our Chase Bank. So it was a different process than we usually use. But the effective dates on those checks were, um, we, we started those processes yesterday and today, and the wire date was today. So I would be very surprised if they're not there sometime today, Darren. And if they are okay. not, please reach out um, to Ursula. Her email will be on for a while um, and let her know and we will follow up directly with um, with Chase Bank to find out status on those. Okay. And, and the Canadian okay. employees have slightly a different, a di um, I would say, scheme. So your letters and payment cadence will be slightly different than the U.S. employees. But everybody okay. should be receiving a final paycheck today. Okay. Yeah, better to follow up than worry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You can email yeah. hr yeah. at jane.com just to make it easy. If you don't know my email, yeah. hr at jane.com. Okay, thank you. Yeah, every single person at Jane will be receiving their checks. What's going to happen to the sellers that are owed a lot of money? Are they just SOL out of luck? Like... I mean, I feel so, really bad for them, like all this money that they're owed that they'll probably never see. It's heartbreaking. So DSI, the company that's coming in, its sole purpose is to work for the creditors, Amy. So they're going to come in and 
pick up and continue on that sale process to figure out how to get the most value for Jane's assets. And then once that sale happens, they take the funds and distribute them to the creditors according to whatever legal priority they have. So that that's why we entered this process was to try to get as much relief for our creditor, our sellers and our vendors as we could. But once it became, um, once we knew a full sale of an operating chain where all the employees kept working and the platform kept running and the bills were all paid wasn't possible, that that was the route we, we had to choose. I wanted to ask, uh, uh, it's the case even for contractors, right? Not only employees. Uh, let me, Lucien, let me check on, on your wire. Um, did you receive one a couple weeks ago? Uh, I think so. Okay. Let me double check on that. Um, we'll make sure, um, if you send Ursula a note with all of your hours worked, um, to date for this month, I'll make sure that gets, okay. that gets covered. Okay. There's a small amount set aside for, for things like this in case we miss something or made mistakes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. If we're local, can we just run our laptops in or can we not go to the office anymore? No, the office is actually locked down. So as part of the process, we need to protect the assets that are at the office right now because they become property of, of the estate um, for the creditors. And the laptops actually will not be going to our office. They're gonna be going to um, the DSI, the company that will be administering the estate. Um, and that will be in Chicago. So don't be surprised when you see the FedEx address shipping them to Chicago. Any other questions? Oh, Julie, I can't hear you. Okay. Oh, there's probably questions in the chat. It seems like a lot of folks aren't getting the email to their personals. So if we can just double check that, Ursula. It hasn't been sent yet. Oh, got it. Okay. The, the emails to that. the personal accounts won't be sent until after after this meeting. Okay. Yep. And and the email with the return of laptop instructions, it will be in that email that'll be on your personal on your personal account. You'll get them today. By end of day. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to give the Canada employees a heads up. There's still a couple of questions on the final templates that we're waiting for a response on. Um, so you should have them by end of day today, but those will probably be the last ones that we're able to send out today. Let me see if I missed anything else here. Any other questions before we wrap up? As a final note, I just want to say in the last 14 months, I have never worked with a team that has as much heart and cares more about our customers, our sellers, and each other than, than this team right here. So I, I just want to thank you all again for, for fighting till the very end. And I know that we're all going to end up somewhere special and there's going to be another another opportunity out there. So thank you guys. I just wanted to say something real quick before you guys, yeah. uh, before we drop.
because this was such a fun endeavor. And the gym created a lot of opportunity for a lot of people. And my bar broke and it has to end this way. And then it leaves potentially some of our sellers in a, in a tough situation. And I would definitely never saw this coming and would never want it to end this way ever. Having uh, worked with you guys, some of you, for a really long time. I just want to say I'm so grateful for the, the heart and soul that you guys have put into this. And I'm sorry for the situation that this would put you guys in as well. I just want to say I'm grateful for everyone. I'm grateful that that I had a chance to work with you for a little bit before. Uh, before everything was um, shut down and and uh anyway i just wanted to express my appreciation and and uh and say we made a a a good push a good concerted effort here at the end and it definitely wasn't for lack of effort and and time and commitment from everyone here so thank you i'm grateful Thank you, Mike. Thank you for coming back and helping us through these these last few months. I have one other question. Um, are our four hundred one ks still safe and and we yeah. will have your, access your, to them? Your four hundred one ks are completely intact um, and. The 401k administrator is is separate from Jane, and they will be reaching out to you with a form that will allow you to take your 401k and roll it over to a new employer or roll it over into an IRA account. So you don't have to worry about your 401ks at all. Okay, thank you. Uh, Same question in regards to HSAs. um, HSAs are administered by Health Equity and you'll be able to keep your HSA with health equity. It will just transition away from Jane's account structure to your own account with health equity. Um, you can choose to keep it there if you want to, or you can transfer it to another um, HSA service provider. But they're, they're intact as well, and deductions were made through today. Um, there is going to be a flyer on a group that can help you with this transition. They partner with our insurance broker. Um, and so their contact info will be there, including on how to enroll in the healthcare marketplace. Um, and then a note on the 401k is um, if you don't roll it over, they will put it in an IRA in a month. So you'll want to do something with it before they do. Just wanted to let you know. Krista, can you can you address Candy's question regarding uh, uh, folks being reached out to by the sellers with threats? Um, all I can tell you is. As of today, nobody should be getting any more calls or threats. 
DSI will take that on. And we have done a lot of research into the relationship between Jane and its sellers and have very good legal counsel we've been working with. So I can't, I can't promise anything, but Jane as a company does have protection and policies in place that protect its employees. And in all reality, they may be threatening you, but it, it's not lower levels that like, they go after. If they go after someone, it will be me and the board. <clears throat> I've been so, getting requests, uh, LinkedIn requests from sellers today asking for information. I suspect lots of us are. Yeah. And my advice would be just to just ignore them. They're going to have to start working with DSI um, starting, to, I mean, starting tomorrow, and, and they will answer their questions and answer and, and work with them. There's, there's nothing we can gain at this point, and I can't provide them any information um, because I have no control over thing af anything after today. I may have missed this, Krista, but are we sending any formal communication or is DSI sending any formal communication to the seller list? DSI will be providing communications that will be okay. distributed. Um, I'm not exactly sure what form that's going to take, okay. but it will have their contact information and, and information for the sellers to file a claim. I'm going to say something. Erin, is there any chance DSI falls through? No, no. DSI is taking this on. Um, this is what they do. They um, are probably the top um, assignment firm in the country. And um, they've been working with us. I, I'm not aware of any any reason this would fail to be completed today. Well, well, well you, 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 got, you cut out because it kept going on mute. We didn't hear what you were saying before. Oh, um, I, if we're, I just, I'd be remiss not to say anything and I'm going to cry, but um, this is a real shitty end for this chapter. And I know it is for myself, for everyone involved. Um, I spent some, some of you more time than I've spent my family over the last six years. And um, God, it's fun to make work with people that you love and respect and admire. And I know personally, I'm, I'm not just personally, everyone did everything that they could. I think we're blindsided by how quickly it happened. At least I am. Uh, but what I do know is that jobs will come and go. Money will come and go. And you kind of have to hold on to that because it's, it's going to be tough for a little bit. But um, just want to thank everyone for it. It's been fun. And I've loved working with everyone that I've got a chance to work with. And I'm here if you need a shoulder to cry on or an ear to talk to. Oops. Call, you're muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm here if you guys need anything. Shoulder, ear. Um, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah. And in the off chance, Tandy, anybody contacts you, like somebody, we've all seen the threats about law enforcement and everything. In the off chance somebody contacts you, um, please reach out to me um, and Ursula right away. My email should be working for a while and we will um, immediately turn it over to our attorneys who would handle anything. I truly don't expect that to happen. Um, and I know the rumor mill swirls and swirls and there was someone that showed up at the Jane office this week. Um, but it was actually to deliver um, a wage garnishment for somebody who used to work at Jane. So people are speculating about that. And I just want to let everybody know that that's, that's what it was. So 
It's just right. crazy. None of us have ever been in this position before, and we see all the threats. So I'm not trying to get served papers at all yeah. for anything. Um, so yeah. I just want to make sure a lot of us that have worked closely with sellers, um, they know our names. They're throwing our names all over the place, LinkedIn messages. So if I get anything, I need to know where to send it. And I want my team and departments yeah. and everyone to know. Yeah, reach out to reach out to Ursula and me, and we will get it turned over to our attorneys right away. And the thing that I, I want to just remind you all is at the end of the day, this is a, it's a civil matter. It's it's a contractual matter between businesses. So it hurts and breaks my heart that people are attacking people. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could do something about that, you guys. I just want to say a note on looking forward in the job market. It's very tough out there. Um, so I just want to offer my help if you need it. Um, you know, LinkedIn, put open to work, connect with each other as much as possible and network with each other as much as possible and support each other out there. I'm happy to share my very large network and connect with each and every one of you and make any introductions that I can to um, any any connection that you see that I'm connected to. I'm happy to help you with any kind of resume help, any kind of interview help. Um, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, Ursula. Hey Mike, I this is Clint. I just wanted to say uh, one one quick thing. Uh, 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 a couple weeks ago was my seventh uh, seventh year anniversary uh, here at Jane, and I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity and the uh, friendships that I have gained here at Jane. I really appreciate that, and you created an exceptional co uh, company with exceptional people. So thank you. Thanks, Clint. Yeah, if anyone wants to connect with with me on LinkedIn or anything, if there's, yeah, I think my profile is public, but if you ever need to reach out or wanted a recommendation or something like that, I'm happy to do it. Um, let me, let me work with DSI and see if they can, um, supply a, additional funds or a prepaid label, um, that we can get to you, um, for that. Okay. I hate to wrap this up. And if you guys want to stay and talk for a bit, that's fine. I, there's no protocol on this, so I, I don't know what to do here. Especially since if we were in the office, we could comfort each other, but, but we're not. There's still maybe a, a suggestion. I'm, I'm, of course, we're all um have our various departments and, and are probably closest to the people in those departments so i might suggest if, if we have access for long enough to allow people to jump on uh some teams calls with uh, their teams or departments and chat for a bit yeah i'm i'm okay with that mike are you okay with that i can't guarantee how long access will stay up um yeah i imagine that we just set like a like a time box around it you know it's like it stays up for another 30 minutes or something does that sound okay yeah i think that would yeah. be appreciative 
Okay. So in this case, if you guys want to get together um, and talk with your teams, please go ahead and do that. Um, and um, I just want to say thank you again to everybody. Um, I'm sorry. I wish I wish we could have come up with a way to to not have this happen. And to just thank you. Bye.